I'm a boss and my business idea is starting online newspaper and I need help with the how to start, what, uh, what's involved in starting a business. My business is a hairdressing and designer lingerie. The help I need most is marketing. My name's Leslie Vickers, I'm starting a PC repair business. I just want to try and see if I can be able to work for myself because to get work in this area now is so difficult. I want to start a small restaurant. I need to be inspired a little bit and, um, and to know the techniques of starting a business also. I hope to get a clear idea of what I'm going to set up as a business. Enterprise Made Simple are proud to run the award-winning Eureka programme. It's open to any resident living in Middlesbrough. Eureka is a five-day course that presents an amazing opportunity to Middlesbrough residents to look at self-employment as a real option. The main aim for it is to get delegates to think like real business owners. The course is fully funded by Middlesbrough Enterprise Gateways, which is a partnership between the local council, Enterprise Made Simple, A4E and ERDF. This is such a great time to start a business in Middlesbrough as there's so much support available. It's day one of Eureka and today we're concentrating on research. We're researching ideas for individuals and we're also looking to expand those ideas into starting a business. There are pros and cons about being self-employed and what I would like from each of you is one pro and when you've got it stick it up on the wall and one con about being self-employed okay? Yeah we're all kind of scared of similar things, fear of starting business and then money those are the two main categories from the exercise we did. So I think we are, in a way, very similar. I can actually solve your problems, okay? And during this week, we will solve your problems. So we keep at the forefront of our minds the fact that sales is business. Basically just giving them an idea of how I got into business and some of the pitfalls and lessons I'd learned. If there's something you don't know, there are always people that can help such as accountants and business advisors. Believe in your own decisions and follow them through. It was mainly about how we market his business and uh, networked with other people to make his business grow. Uh, and, and the most important thing is that he made it sustainable from the start so it had a better chance of success. Gave his own example how did he overcome the obstacle, the barriers uh, in starting a business. And I, that gave me a bit confidence that uh, if he can do it, I can do it. Day two of Eureka and today we're at Nature's World in Middlesbrough. Today we're concentrating on marketing and how to apply some marketing theory to individuals' businesses. How to expand their market and make the most of the sales opportunities that they have. The first thing you must have to sell a product is uh, you have to have good marketing. Actually, you're not trying to reach everybody all at the same time, but the key is to be specific. I learn about marketing, like how to make my company to develop. We've been working on a project today in Nature's World, how to attract more customers into the venue. We're going to apply the rules that we've learned working on that project to our own businesses and expand the routes to market for Nature's World and for our own businesses. We just sort of walked around the grounds and looked for things where we thought maybe we could improve um, the nature world and sort of bring in revenue without it costing too much money. And we all thought of ways of how we would market it to get money into the place. I was totally optimistic and uh, pretty stupid when I started my business because I started an air conditioning business in the northeast of England in October. It's now six years since I started the business up in the northeast and I've never made a warranty claim on any of the equipment I've installed. I've just been talking to the delegates about my background and uh, how I got into business uh, six years ago. And my main tips w would be to sort of uh, meet, meet with like-minded people and share knowledge and ideas and they've made the first steps to get to know each other by spending the week together on the course and I think 
you know, that could be the sort of start of, of, of lifelong friendships and business associations, really. Hearing Stuart speak was inspiring because he was really highlighting the fact that once we get a good response from one of our clients, that we should record it and um, make the most of it. I learned that I need to be confident when I'm speaking about my products and um, myself uh, so that I can move forward with my business with um, confidence. I've been fixing and building computers for about the last two or three years or something and it's basically like the only thing that I'm good at. So I thought if it's something that I'm good at and something that I like doing, why not go and work for myself and try and get, get, get myself a business out of it? I was working in a warehouse and thinking, where's my life going? Uh, thinking I'm an artist, I want to be pushing into what I'm passionate about and what I'm made, it's made for. I just thought all the things I've done in my life have been controlled and I need freedom to do what I really want to do. It's, it's something I've wanted to do from, from being a kid and uh, I've, I've, I've had a business before but it didn't work out because I didn't have the knowledge to, to continue it really, so this is what I'd like to get from, from this project. I was working in a top class salon and decided that I wanted to advance my skills by going on my own. I thought why not I have a, my own business where I can uh, uh, make my livelihood and at the same time I feel good and I feel satisfied, so that's why I want to do this uh, business which I uh, plan to do. Day three of Eureka and today we're at the Transporter Bridge in Middlesbrough. Today is about planning a business, not the theory of planning a business, but the practical sides of how to implement those plans and start your business. So if you've got a number of leads coming in at 4,000, what could you do to increase the number of leads? I was actually surprised because I did not know that your, your business can you know, increase its profit that easy. And the, the, the changes that you need to make is very simple, but then your profit will be very high. I learn about how to make profit and how to do sales. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Great advice. Really informative. And, really. And really. Things we, we looked at doing a business plan and we saw market research and yeah. market strategies and financial forecasts and we just, just... Oh, what are we going yeah, to do here? Yeah, we don't know. But now know. we've been here for a couple of days now and it's all sinking it in. Makes it makes sense. a bit more sense. All of this area is ripe for development. We've been for a tour of the Transporter Bridge to look at some of the innovative ideas that were developed in Middlesbrough during the last century. The bridge is 100 years old this year and um, gives us an excellent view of the redevelopment that's happening throughout the Middlesbrough area. And uh, so it was a quite a good experience, uh, I loved it. <laughs> you can actually see the water underneath you, so it was a bit scary there. <laughs> Very nice experience, yeah. I want to jump from bungee next time. <laughs> It's day four of Eureka and today we're at MIMA. Today we're covering finance, all the practical finance issues to running a business. We're not thinking about theory, we're thinking about how to actually implement those financial skills and traits into your business. The issue that everybody has is money, is cash flow, because cash is king in any business. As it's day four, people have learned a number of things during the week. They've expanded their business idea. They now know how to practically market their business and attract customers, look at sales, expand the amount of transactions that they can do within their business and increase their profits. Sales means money, sales means cash, sales means profit. that you learn is, is to help you with your business and moving forward and making your business successful. I think it's amazing that it's free. I feel really blessed to have been able to go through this, so I think everyone should do it. There's so much to learn that you don't know. The way to find out, definitely. You get inspired. I mean, you get to know a lot of things that you did not know before. You can uh, become more confident, yeah? Uh, Self-confident. It's a very uh, important cause and it will give a lot of ideas about business. It's very helpful. Eureka will help me approach it more professionally. 
It's been good because you don't know what you're going to get every day. Every day has been a different day. Yeah. Somewhere different else. scenery, different challenge. You've got nothing to lose. Be your own boss. Do I work for someone else? You're